morning so here with Andy and Billy Bob morning. and we are in I think we are in the Yorkshire Dales National Park we're in Sedba but it's Come here. we parked at Sedba none of this Yorkshire business and apparently we're in the Yorkshire Dales National Park but in Cumbria yeah get your head around that one so we're gonna head up to well we're heading along the Dales Highway from Sedba we parked in um, a pony display car park in the middle of the town and we're going to head up the Dells Highway along Settlebeck Gill and probably the first hill of the day will be Winder and then we're going to head up to Arant Hall and then back down um, Nab <coughs> back to um, Crossgates is it or Crossdale I'll check that and back down Howgill Lane so it's about five and a half miles, it's not a long route, but you get stunning views. So over there, I've actually found myself a real castle, not like Andy's pretend castle in the previous video. <laughs> it's called Castle Hall Tower, and there's um, a moat around it as well. It doesn't look like there's any remains of the castle though, but you can see how it would have been a good location. So we're just heading up the Dales Highway and that is Crook in front and we're going to follow the Dales Highway up along the gill and we're probably going to top out onto a little wee summit called Winder first which I think is that one there I like that. You've got this public footpath sign saying where we've just come from, public footpath is just lane. If you go left, the public footpath takes you to the farm at Lockbank. And where we're going, public footpath to the fell. should be Winder in the background which is going to be the first hill of the day I think we're going to head up to that you've got Sedbury down there and you've got the River Rothy going along which then joins into the River Loon further up but look at that fantastic view so the path will just head up round the back of it so we'll have to make a bit of a detour to include Winder
Wow, look at this behind me. Such a wet girl. So dramatic. We're just heading up Winder now. So they've got some um, fell ponies up there. I don't know if you can see them. There's one, two, three, four that I can see. Just on that ridge line. I tell you what, we haven't got very far on this walk. We keep talking to people. <laughs> Standing there for like half an hour, just chatting. Just met a young lad, a six boy from my neck of the woods, Charlie. What a nice lad. Got a working cocker with him, he's up here on holiday. First time he's ever done any hill walking. And he's sitting there looking down the valley, absolutely loving it. So, if you happen to watch my channel, hi. <laughs> Hope you have a nice holiday. Looking back, said bird down there. So we just turned off on a faint grassy trod to include Winder, which is uh, officially the only hill I think left in the Hellgills that I've not done, so I might as well do it. It's a bit of an out and back. Anyway, so we've got to go all the way along that ridge to the summit and then back again. That's our track there that we come up. That's Crook behind us. That's not actually officially a hill. <laughs> no hill bagging list. But I'm sure you get a cracking view up there as well. So that's looking to Arant Hall. That's going to be our final hill of the day. Heading down that ridge on Nab towards Cross Gates and back to Hellgill Lane. Beyond there, just beyond the ridge, there's the Loon Viaduct. You can just see the M6 there. And you've got the lakes behind. So, Winder Summit. It's got Trig Point. 473 metres. You. <laughs> so it's down there somewhere. It's Arant Hall. There's the lakes. That's all I know. <laughs> That'll be Yorkshire over there. So over there you've got um, Killington Lake and you're at the coast eventually in Morecambe. 
going along you've got eventually Wernside over there you've got Great Nautbury Hill and you've got Bow Fell there and behind that you've got Swarth Fell and Wild Boar Fell that's a cracking route to do I only know the hills because it says on this little plaque so I cheated <laughs> So we're heading off Winder now. We're going to head towards Arrant Hall. Just lovely walking. Just grass, grassy paths. Nothing but grass. It's lovely. Looking down into the Crosdale Beck Valley, you've got Winder to the left that we've just ascended. Looking over to Morecambe Bay. I'll stop looking back. This view is just getting better and better. <sighs> yeah, it's a rather long, steep ridge. This one's Arant Hall. <laughs> That's the thing with the Hellgills. Fantastic valleys like that. Cutting across, cutting across the landscape. And you've got steep sided, big domed hills. So yeah. Nearly at the top. Nearly. Show you the cracking view of the calf, calders, great dummocks, all the biggest ones of the Hellgild. There we go. There's the summit of Arant Hoar. And if you think I'm going up the calf, you can forget that. <laughs> we was up there the other week. 605 metres this hill. Back in the wind. So that'll be the ridge over to Calders. Eventually the calf. That's where we were the other week on my video, the Howgills, the border, the border ridge. That's the route we took. Up to the calf. Back to fell head.
what I mean about these steep sided hills and these valleys that you get cutting through the landscape. They're all over the place. It just makes for such fantastic shade and lighting. So that's looking over to Wild Boar Fell and Swarth Fell on the left there in the distance. And then beyond that you'd have Malastang. That's Bow Fell and the Garsdale Valley. You can see Killington Lake and Morecambe Bay. And that's looking over to the lakes. The Lake District Fells. So from the summit we're going to head off in a westerly direction along Nav. It's not the Nav, it's just Nav. That's it there. Lovely grassy ridge. Heads down to Cragstones, back to Hellgill Lane. light on these fields looking over to the lakes that's looking back to our descent route from Arant Hall in the distance that's the ridge we came up and that's Winder our first hill of the day heading down steeper off Nab and that is um, the start of the Loon Valley as you've got the Loon Viaduct off to our right and we're heading down to a place called Cragstones see where you just got that farm down there heading to that wall and following the wall along down into that little uh, Ravini Gill bit there by the trees and heading back to Hellgill Lane But yeah, you've got the River Loon running all the way through this valley here now.
we've now come down to Crossdale Beck. It's a nice little beck here. And we do actually have to ford this. And I've got trainers on. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to get wet feet. And then the path just heads back up there. So after about five hours trying to get across this beck without getting wet feet, I eventually managed it. lambs so cute so now it's just an easy path following this wall all the way back to Lockbank farm and Hellgill Lane So we can see Sedbra now, so they're not too far away. I'm guessing about three quarters of a mile. So just follow along this stone wall. You can alternatively go back um, earlier onto Hellgill Lane, but you're walking along the road for much further. Here we're going to head down to a farm, through a farm, onto Howgold Lane, just outside of Sidbar. I think we're being followed. So I'm going to say goodbye as we're near the car, back near Sidba. Been about a five and a half, six mile route. Fantastic weather. And hope you enjoy this wee video. Bye. Say bye, Billy. <laughs> Catch you all again on another adventure very soon. Bye. We're just heading through Lockbank Farm now. Good morning and welcome to Map and Scissor Time and this is a route for Winder and Arant Hall in the Hellgills from the lovely town of Sedba. And there's a pay and display car park just off the main road around about here somewhere. Around about here and you've got toilets here and as you're leaving the car park you'll head right up a lane 
following it around through um they've got houses either side here, heading towards the Dells Highway and Settlebeck Gill, which is up here. And it's a lovely gill this um, and a lovely path. Worth a little detour to have a look at the little tiny waterfall here. And you're following up through a gate and then we're heading up to Winder. So we decided to do it this way. So you head up um, a track, up the fell side, and you go something like this, heading for the main path here. I think that's right. This here, by the way, is beautiful. It's a fantastic valley, really dramatic, and it's worth an explore if you've got the time. But we didn't. We just carried on zigzagging up the, the fell side onto this path here to then head on to this ridge line to Winder Summit. And there's a trig, 473 metres, I think that is right on the crease, I think that's right. It's a lovely vantage point looking over the Dent Valley, over to Yorkshire, um, you've got the lakes over here, and um, Arant Hall, you'll see the route to Arant Hall. So we head back on the same path from the summit, heading to Arant Hall along this lovely long grassy ridge. Great views opening up when you look back and you top out onto the summit, 605 metres. And from here, an Arant Hall, you can see over to Calf and Calders and Great Dummocks, the higher Howgills. You can continue if you want to do a larger walk. We just fancied a shorter walk today, so that's all we did was Arant Hall down this ridge here to make a circular, headed in a westerly direction down this grassy ridge and heading down Nab. To make sure you go left here and there's no path on the map but there is a grassy trod all the way down to the wall and then you have to cross and ford Crossdale Beck. This is a lovely valley from this ridge here you can see right down and it really is dramatic and lovely especially with the light and the shade that you get and you follow along the wall and across the back you follow along the wall here and we continued along the wall all the way down the path to Lock Bank Farm. You could go this way back along Hellgill Lane. We thought it was nice to do it like this on the grass along this wall here. Through Lock Bank Farm, down the drive into Hellgill Lane, back into Sedbur. And it's um, about a five mile route. So I hope you enjoy the video. It's a really good walk for families or beginners or even if you just fancy an easy day out. And I'll catch you all again on another adventure very soon. Bye for now.